today I'm going to show you how to calculate fraction over fractions. Are you ready to learn? Get straight into it. However, today we are going to look at June 2013 CSET Maths question 1A. Using a calculator or otherwise calculate the exact value of. So we have, here we have the numerator and we have the denominator however we have some mixed fractions so we have one four over five minus one third so we have two and two fifth so we're going to calculate this problem what i'm going to do is to calculate the denominator first so i'm going to work out what is at the top first then i'm going to work out what's at the bottom so let's get straight into it so i'm going to just rewrite the numerator which is 1 and we have 4 over 5 minus 1 third so what I'm going to do here is to multiply the denominator by the whole number then I'm going to add the numerator which is 4 so I can say 5 ones is 5 plus 4 is 9 and this should be over 5 so now we have an improper fraction. So we're going to rewrite the 1 over 3. So now we need to find the LCM for 3 and 5. So the LCM here and write 15 as our LCM. So, so now we can say 5 into 15 goes 3 times. So we're going to multiply the 3 times the numerator which is 9 minus 3 into 15 goes 5 times so we're going to multiply 5 times 1 so let us do that so we can say 3 nines is 27 minus 5 ones is 5 and this should be over 15 now we can say 27 minus 5 give us 22 and of course this should be over 15. So now we have one term for the numerator. So let's so we are now going to we are now going to solve the denominator. That is so we have 2 and we have 2 over 5 so I'm going to turn this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. To do that, I can multiply 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 give us 12. So now we have for the denominator. So we have one term for the denominator and we have one term for the numerator. So we're going to combine both. So we can write 22 divided by 15. 12 over 5 that I'm going to we're going to keep the first fraction so we keep in the first fraction then we're going to then we're going to change the division sign to multiplication then we're going to flip the second fraction so we're going to put the 5 at the top and the 12 at the bottom so 5 into itself goes one time 5 into 15 goes 3 times. 2 into 12 goes 6 times. And 2 into 22 goes 11 times. 11 times. So now we can multiply across. So, so 11 ones give us 11. 3 times 6 is 18. So, therefore, 11 over 18 is our final answer. So, this is how we solve a problem like this in CXE. And this value 2 marks. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have not yet done so.